with a classified report criticising the $45 billion Hunter class frigate's combat ability. Construction of $45 billion Australia's future frigates may be delayed even further, with a secret Defence Department engineer's report warning that needing a revised production start date of June 2024 will be tight, reported Sky News. These issues are affecting the Hunter-class frigate's expected performance, with a reduced range and slower operating speed, while it could also be easier for enemy ships to detect. From a platform perspective, the Hunter-class frigate is substantially heavier than the original Type 26 frigate and has a modified hull form. The additional displacement and draft have materially increased the amount of installed power required to propel the vessel, which means a corresponding decrease in range. This video responds to the report produced by the Australian Department of Defence and reported by Sky News. Hunter-class frigate British defence giant BAE Systems won the $45 billion contract to build a new fleet of anti-submarine frigates for the Australian Navy. Referred to as the Global Combat Ship Australia, or GCSA, during the competition, the design will be known as the Hunter Class in Royal Australian Navy Service and will replace the Navy's existing Anzac Class frigates. BAE Systems has been selected as the preferred tenderer for SEA 5000 reinforces as a leading designer and builder of complex maritime platforms at an estimated cost of more than $35 billion for acquisition. Type 26 incorporates some of the latest technology options, and the Australian government has persuaded the trade-off between slightly higher risk and the highest technology gains possible was worth it. It can accommodate up to 180 crew. The 150-metre ships will be built in a government-owned Adelaide shipyard, ASC, and will be known as the Hunter Class. The new warships will be built by an Australian shipping yard, Osborne Naval Shipyard, and will secure 4,000 jobs in Australia. Australian industry will provide around 70% of the content, and the ships will be constructed from Australian steel. Political Implication Type 26 frigates have been sprucked as crucial to Australia's national security at a time where China is escalating its military presence in the region's waters, sending spy ships and monitoring Australia's maritime war game. Despite the ruling against China by the arbitral tribunal at The Hague, China refused to relinquish its claim in various territorial waters owned by the sovereign state like the Philippines, Vietnam, Indonesia, Malaysia and Brunei. China still makes sweeping claims as well as increasingly aggressive posturing in the area. The choice of this quiet anti-submarine design also directly improves Australia's defence capability. The Type 26 choice was made not only because of political considerations, but certainly to counter the rise of Chinese submarines and China's militarization of the South China Sea. According to former Chief of Navy Vice Admiral Tim Barrett, an ASW capability was the highest priority for the Royal Australian Navy. Mission Capability This system can simultaneously attack land targets, submarines and surface ships while protecting the fleet against aircraft, cruise missiles and ballistic missiles. Multiple boats and unmanned vehicles can be deployed for both disaster and relief missions. Type 26 is designed with modularity and flexibility in mind and a critical feature that sets it apart from competing designs is its mission bay. The Rolls-Royce Mission Bay Handling System will enable efficient movement of craft and containerized mission packages within the mission bay. It also features a launch and recovery capability. Robotics Victoria-based company DMTC Limited has joined forces with BAE Systems Maritime Australia, ANSTO, and the University of Wollongong to develop advanced welding technologies for naval shipbuilding programs such as the Hunter Class Frigate Program. Significant investment in technology development at the Osborne Naval Shipyard has already been made through advanced robotics, additive manufacturing and industry 4.0 utilization. Anti-submarine warfare capability. The ship can move slowly on battery power only, and they have a high-end sonar suite built into the hull plus a towed sonar array as well. For anti-sub work, a ship needs to be very quiet. The engine is insulated from the hull to reduce noise and vibration. So with the Romeo helicopter, it has three ways to detect and track a sub. Aviation The flight deck can accommodate heavy-lift helicopters, while the hangar can house medium-sized choppers. 
A secondary hangar can accommodate a surveillance drone. It also comes with one MH-60 Romeo helicopter and a mission bay for an unmanned system or additional helicopter. Propulsion Rolls-Royce has signed two contracts with BAE Systems to supply low-noise propellers for the new Type 26 Global Combat Ship. Each ship will feature two Rolls-Royce fixed bolted propellers, designed for extremely low underwater radiated noise, suited to the ship's key role of anti-submarine warfare. An acoustically quiet hull with two electric motors, for high-speed diesel generators, and a gas turbine are all optimized to reduce underwater noise. Power will come from a single MT-30 gas turbine, providing direct drive through a gearbox, and four MTU Series 4000 diesel generator sets from Rolls-Royce Power Systems. Combat System A 3D surveillance radar offers anti-ship missile defense and long-range air search capabilities. The ship is equipped with Aegis Combat System with Saab Defense Australian Interface. Countermeasure the ship will have modern electronic warfare systems and Nulka decoy systems to counter inbound missile threat and soft kill mechanisms using EW systems. Sensors The Hunter class will be equipped with CFAR-2 radar, S-2150 hull mounted sonar, S-2187 towed array and variable depth sonar and electro-optical sensors. Armaments the Advanced Sea Scepter Weapon System can provide complete protection against all air threats. The missile can travel at speeds of over 1,200 km per hour with a range of more than 27 km. The MK-41 Vertical Strike Launcher contains preloaded canisters capable of storing various types of missiles. A MK-45 Mod 4 5-inch gun with a range of 35 km is mounted on the bow of the warship. The ship is equipped with Phalanx Close-In Weapon System, MU-90 Torpedoes, MK-41 Vertical Launch System with SM-2 and ESSM Missile and Advanced Anti-Ship Missile. Conclusion The Hunter-class design was heavier than the UK version it is based on because of Australian-mandated design changes including fitting a locally-made radar system and US combat system. Shipbuilder BAE Systems stood by its comments in March, when it insisted the Hunter class remained within the agreed weight and space envelopes and would meet the Navy's needs, including speed, sea keeping, stability, range, and acceleration. The frigates are meant to be finished by 2029 and in service in 2031. Thanks for watching. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram.